So what did we do this for? We did it for the travel controls. We did it to kill the middle class, to take property, you know, because that's the big thing that's coming up. You know, before we get herd immunity, we'll be herded into the streets. Uh, we've got over 10 million renters. Uh, we've got about four or five million uh, mortgage holders that are behind in their payments. And that's not even including the landlords. You know, 45% of the people who have, uh, who are landlords, quote unquote landlords, and I, you know, that's kind of an elitist term. Uh, they're middle class people who have accumulated uh, some mortgages over their lifetime and use that for uh, their retirement. They might have one or two homes and maybe they owned them and they moved on. Instead of selling them, they rented it, that type of thing. And they're dependent on that. It's a big part of their income. That was how my father, who was self-employed, funded his retirement. And these people have been doing forbearance for the people. They, they you know, don't want to kick anybody out. Uh, after my father died, we went to uh, one of the people that rented from him. And, uh, they, you know, he knew them. Uh, they had his picture. Uh, they didn't know we were coming. They had his picture up on the mantelpiece. I really hate this. I hate this so much. I hate what's being done to our country. I hate what's being allowed to be done by, to our country by these spineless Republicans, not only standing aside and letting this happen, but participating in it. You know, Trump gave the CDC, the CDC, the ability to say, you're not going to evict anybody. But that doesn't solve any problems. You know, handing somebody a check, giving them forbearance, that isn't the problem. The problem is the lockdown. The problem is the lockdown, and the lockdown is locked in place with executive orders beginning on March the 13th and adding several others after that from President Trump after he was given the ridiculous simulation from the Imperial College of London, a false assumption about how epidemics work, and then implemented in a program that couldn't get the same answer two times in a row. University of Edinburgh called them out on that fraud. But these two very smart people told President Trump what to do. And you know, it doesn't matter to the Trump cult if he shoots somebody in the street, does it? He knew that from the very beginning. And what he is doing is he's shooting Main Street. It would have been better if he just shot one person in the street. Instead, these lockdown policies kept in place, incentivized by the president's executive orders, have shot over 110,000 restaurants in the head, not counting the other small businesses. And the damage just keeps going. While he does the bidding of Bill Gates, I am so disgusted with Trump and the Trump cult. I just can't stand this anymore. I can't stand to see what is happening to our country. We've lost the rule of law. We've lost our freedom. We've lost our dignity.